When it comes to text to video generation model, OpenAI Sora is the world leader without any doubt. But it seems now a Chinese model is seriously challenging that spot. A Chinese company with the help of Tsinghua University and Shengshu Technology has released a model called as a video. One of the video generated by video is in front of you. This model is still not available for the public to access, but in this video, I will try to give you as much information as I could find by translating a lot of Chinese websites and also going through the net. Took a bit of a time, but it seems very closed and hush hushed affair. But this model really looks very, very cool. So on your screen, you can see the website of Shengshu, which I had to translate from Chinese to English. And I applied for use by clicking on this black button and it took me here. But when I give my information, it doesn't enable this submit button. I'm based in Australia, so maybe that is why, but I'm not sure. Anyway, so I couldn't get the access, but I will keep trying. And if I could somehow get the access, I will try to do some real uh, time interactive demo of it. But for now, let's stick to what we know about it. So. This video is a new advanced AI video generation model presented by this Tsinghua University and Shengshu Technology that produces realistic and imaginative 16 second videos in 1080 pixel resolution. It uses a sophisticated AI architecture combining diffusion and transformer models to generate videos directly from text prompts. And as I mentioned, access is not really available um, for the public, it seems, even if uh, I'm not sure what exactly the go there. This model is ideal for movies, for media production, for advertising and creative arts for generating unique, realistic context. One of the cool feature about video is that it excels in producing coherent, detailed and dynamic video content for complex scenes because if you look at various text to video models and there are many it is really hard to create uh, coherent videos i mean it is okay to create some sort of video generation or animation but coherency seems missing but if you look at this one this seems quite coherent because there is really a lot of attention to detail there are a lot of advantages of this video. For example, it blends shots smoothly for coherent storytelling. It simulates real world physics effectively. It creates imaginative non-existent scenes and it already produces content close in quality to Sora AI and is continuously improving. One of the drawbacks which people are discussing online is that sometimes it overlooks small but important details. And sometimes, sometimes if the scene is very dynamic very very complex then there are some inconsistencies also it requires you know very very high computing resources so that is why it is not for everyone if you're thinking that i will be showing you how to install it locally i'm sorry i don't think so that is going to be possible at least in the near future so all in all a really good model and I think a new competitor to OpenAI Sora because it is capable of generating a 16 second video in 1080 pixel resolution. It is designed to transform text description into dynamic high quality videos and this text to video AI model does more than just visually interpret the content at basic level. It can create videos from text with a full range of scenes, characters and actions based on the input text making the video impressively realistic video can also generate video sequences that illustrate the story or instructions described in the text complete with appropriate settings interactions and movements tailored to the storyline during a live demonstration video was able to mimic the real world physical um, atmosphere creating scenes that follow actual physical laws including realistic lighting and shadow effects and also a detailed facial expressions additionally it can produce complex movie shots rather than just static ones so the chinese developers have also released few of the videos around it 
and I'm going to play a little bit of it from this YouTube channel by Sergi Vyorsky. Look at the uh, quality of it, amazing stuff. Look at the quality. How good is that? This is all AI generated. Amazing stuff. And I will drop the link to this in video's description. Let me know what do you think. There you go. How good is that? How good is that? And this is all movie scene. Anyway, so amazing stuff as you can see. And I was just browsing through this, and it has, and this is the English uh, translation, by the way. You would be surprised to see how much they have done in terms of different AI technologies, including this um, high speed sampling reinforcement learning multimodal training and they also have this uh, image generation here this is 3d generation here and this is a video generation which i was showing you and um, all in all i mean all of these new generation ai tools they are simply amazing look at this one this is just a pix fever which is a, a visual creative design platform and it supports personalized visual creation it integrates multiple styles and it is ex it has excellent semantic uh, understanding and this is what i really really like about it there you go and then look at this one this is simply for this is a 3d box craft all you do is you just enter text or images and it creates high quality 3d models there you go hi how good is that and then you can just create a new model of personalized creativity, amazing stuff. And then they have shared a lot of papers there too. So I was also reading through a few of these papers, very, very nicely written. So I think the quality of these models are um, backed by a lot of good research, which is always very, very good to see. As I said, the only drawback which I see is that it is not really uh, that accessible that publicly it's not like that i could just sign up easily and then i would be able to you know access it through an api or through ggui i think they should improve that if they want <clears throat> global adoption that would be really cool but a stellar effort i will drop the link to this website and also that video which i showed you so let me know what do you think and if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel and if you are already subscribed then please do me a favor and share this channel and the videos among your network like them subscribe to them and then uh, whatever social media you use then please share it as it helps a lot thanks for watching